anyway a few more notes here and then I believe we will go help the camel that this area is named for and that is Gobi you can see he's over there we're gonna have to use this magic carpet whoa that was close and jump up here now he's basically tied to that rock which is completely unfair and I don't know who did this to him but they're really very cruel so we're going to release him yeah see he doesn't mind us now because we helped him but later on we're going to have to use him and he's not going to be real happy about that believe me okay so you could try to jump over to that but it's actually um, you know you're gonna take damage more than likely because there's no way you can actually get quite all the way there so I'm not gonna take that chance so I'm gonna go ahead and hit this it's going to put an extra honeycomb piece up there um mm, I'm not oh yeah green ginger I'm not sure uh, da, da, da. since I already hit <laughs> very funny since I already hit that uh, honeycomb switch I'm probably gonna have to go ahead and get it uh, fairly quickly here because uh, I remember I was mentioning about having to purposely get lost in the maze well purposely getting lost does result in a death it will be the first death that you see me have in this game but um, you know it's for a good purpose so <laughs> now we have 10 seconds to get down here as you can see I've managed to make a few steps before the cutscene started so I had plenty of time but if you just stand there and wait you may not have enough time okay this guy's gonna be in the way unless you get rid of him so that means more wonder wing get this mumbo token get these notes okay now what you're gonna see here is another Mario-esque uh, puzzle which is to try to match to um, pictures together um, I'm not sure if these are random or not to be honest with you uh, I'm trying to get a feel for what I remember actually I think it's the same so then I shouldn't have to guess around too much because I know there's two dudes there um, let me see there's a feather which I think is here no okay maybe I don't remember <laughs> okay so the banjo is here B -b -b banjo I think okay here's the feather alright Kazooie here maybe? yes okay so I do remember some of it no 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 this was mumbo okay as you can see I have plenty of time though quite honestly and since I had an idea where some of those were I wasn't completely lost okay and that's a jiggy with 41 seconds left so <laughs> that one went pretty quickly okay uh, again it seems that I've went past the time limit of stopping to say hi and bye so whatever just know that I'm recording this sort of all at once and I'm just trying to get as much done as I can so I'm sure you can forgive the lack of a high and bye right <laughs> alright so now we're gonna have to get to the air again just because I wanna get that um, extra honeycomb piece if I can actually remember how to speak <laughs> and uh, because I know that I'm going to have to sacrifice a life and then it's gonna disappear and I'm just gonna have to go ahead to switch again so better to do it now I say it's a little tricky lining this one up but it's not too bad uh, as soon as I say that of course I miss it but 
That was also to be expected, was it not? There we go. Perfect. Okay, the next one that we get from here is going to give us another bar of health. So that's pretty cool. Oh. Ow. Missed that. Oh well. Whatever. Can get to it e easily enough. Once I take care of something down here along the edges. Now, as you recall, I said the water filled this crevice up, uh, giving us access to things. Now you're thinking, why uh, are there flight pads on the water? Well, when there was no water here, it was just burning sand, and the only things that you could actually fall on down here were those flight pads. So technically, if you had fallen down here, and you could live to get to one of those flight pads, you could fly out without dying. Ooh, Jinjo! There's only one left, and it happens to be um, the very next place that we're going, which of course is the maze. Okay. Now, as you see, another pharaoh head, and he's gonna want an egg as well. Actually, he's gonna want a couple of eggs, isn't he? Maybe three. Ahaha, <laughs> very funny. Okay, yes, he wants three eggs. And so, look at that. It's either a very tiny pyramid, or perhaps it's only the very top of a pyramid. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, we shall see what we shall see, right? One. No. Two. And three. And now, I believe there's one more. You see, it's coming out further. Now. As I said, I believe this is the last one. Yeah. Oops, smaller platform to stand on. Yeah. And one more. Boom. Now, rise, pyramid, rise. And there it is. So, now, we can head inside here. And you will get to see. The only death I intend to have in this game, at least until I can't help it. <laughs> Which could very well be actually soon. By the way, I think at the end of the last video I said that we would be coming to Mad Monster Mansion next. I don't know why I said that, because obviously there was still this place to come to. But Mad Monster Mansion will be after this level. So, yeah, something to look forward to there. Anyway, you're going to want to keep in Talentrop mode for this. Because once you enter the maze, you're only going to have a certain amount of time to do anything. So, here we go. You're going to see me getting lost here. Actually, there may be a, a, a sort of a tiny little way that I could pull this off without getting lost and dying, but I'm gonna say probably not on that. Because I get lost as it is, even though I know where the heck I'm going. Um, right. That wasn't it. That's the way out, actually, that furthest loop over there. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I'm probably gonna lose a life here, but I needed to get over here because there is a grunty switch. But now I'm going to try my best, actually, yeah, you can see where the Jiggy's going to be. I'm going to try my best, actually, to get out of here and live. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to make it. It's just too hard to do that. Uh, other one. No, actually, I am. Oh, my gosh. That is, like, the first time I ever did that. Wow. I just kept making the wrong turn there before. Wow. So, yeah, I feel pretty good about that. Heck, yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's a Jiggy. Um, mumbo token, and there's a thing back here. We go with the last Jinjo and the Jiggy for that. 
Alright, well that went really well. I'm actually very pleased with that. Let's get that jiggy. Let's get jiggy with it. So now there's only one left, if you can believe that. And it happens to be one where we have to go pick on poor old Goby the Camel. Yep. Not much we can do about it. We have to do it. And then, um, I'll have a little something special to show you. Okay, so we're going to head back here to the start where there was actually nothing we could do before. Now there is. Hmm, this tree looks a bit thirsty. And yes, he does. But he needs all his water for himself. Selfish. So yeah, Gobi's going to run off because he's really mad at us. Mr. Tree Man Guy says, I am going to grow tall. And actually, we can't climb him as we would most trees, but that's not an issue because this is within jumping distance. And there you have it Jiggy number 10 from Gobi's Valley. But there's still a couple of things that we need to take care of. If you recall, there is uh, another honeycomb piece. And a surprise. Okay, so what we're gonna need to do is get back into the air again. Actually, you could take the carpet, but. Eh, you know. Seems like a waste of time to me. And look, poor old Goey, he's like, please leave me alone. You're so mean to me, but. Sorry, we need that bad. Yeah. Hmm, peace and quiet. Well, I'm sorry to say you're not going to find it, but spoilers there. But last notes, last honeycomb piece, an extra bar of health, and now for the surprise. Ah, listen to that music. Do you know what that means? We found something very special. Voila! blue question mark egg wow another one yes so since you guys didn't get to see the first egg that's your first look at uh, the egg itself so we now have the pink egg the blue egg and the ice key and we are now done with Gobi's Valley now um, I don't yeah, I can't really get out of here until the magic carpet comes and picks me up. Which it does very quickly. Thank you. And that's it. We're done with Gobi's Valley. And I'll probably be done here for today. At least for now. So, yeah. I'll head to the exit here. And I'll say thank you for watching. Uh, I am, of course, Jonathan Wolf. I hope you enjoyed this, and, uh, yeah, so, oh, wait a minute, yes, uh, why do I always forget this, lair jigging, um, yeah, so let me try to do this really quickly, go, 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 oh, these waiting boots are so slow, hope I have enough time, okay, X cancels, I'm not X and A, I don't know why I was going all stupid about that, Anyway, we're gonna need the uh, shock jump pad. Whoops, darn it. And this guy's gonna be in the way, isn't he? Okay, whoops, darn. Okay, last try. We're going to jump off of here and get the lair jiggy. And there you have it. That's lair jiggy number seven. We have 35 in the bank that we can actually use. But. To give you the full total, we have now gotten 67 jiggies, 600 notes, 18 honeycomb pieces, and 3 hours and 35 minutes and 34 seconds. Gobi's Valley was done in exactly 30 minutes, so that's a cool deal. And yeah, there you have it. Thank you for watching Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.